Just the joy of getting up every day and doing something that you love. I mean, it's a passion for me. It's just become part of my nature and part of my, my being. I'm a seventh generation farmer and hopefully eight generations with my children coming up. Firefighters and farmers, they're kind of along the same line where they're the backbone of our community. We depend on them wholeheartedly because they're our first line of defense. Anytime we can, we can get the carcinogens out of, it makes the world safer for us as firefighters. We already have enough risks going into uh, hazardous environments with smoke, everything else. Uh, so anything that we can reduce our daily exposure to carcinogens, to toxins, makes it hugely beneficial for us. It's gonna help the future generation of firefighters. If we can find products that work just as well as our existing products we have now, that's huge for us as firefighters because we can't take a step back in technology with what we're using, what we're doing, it, to make it harder for us to use something that's safer. You really never know what you're gonna face. Uh, you know, there's, there's just so many different things that it could be that you could show up to uh, at any given time for a call, uh, structure fires, vehicle fires, wildland fires. Um, there's a lot of different, different things that we could face, um, a lot of challenges. In the demonstrations we get to see today, the ability to knock down a fire as quickly as it did, uh, that's, that's extremely important, especially with limited manpower. We could take a product like this. Uh, we also, not only are we limited in manpower, we're limited in water resources. In the rural community, we don't have the, the fortune of tying onto a hydrant like you do in the city. So we rely on the water that we carry in our neighboring departments, and water management is extremely important. So with a product like the soy foam, it makes that water go that much further and it knocks the, actually from what I saw today, knocks the fire down that much faster. Well, this product is natural. We're over 50% soy-based. We're over 84% bio-based. And we're over 90% natural. So it's a very, very safe product from the standpoint, safer than the products that have been being used. There are several instances of cancer-related illnesses that firefighters are facing, and for us to be able to offer a product that firefighters can carry into firefighting situations and know the product they're carrying is safe to them. Green Screen certification goes into not only uh, the component that we gave to them for testing, but every component within the formulation the testing for green screen goes very, very deep in every single aspect of the uh, formulation. Clean Production Group has been testing products for over 20 years, and our product is the very first firefighting foam that has achieved gold level. So we're very proud of that. The farmers have been very helpful with the checkoff and being able to help us with, with what we're doing. The response that we've gotten has just been great. Well, I think as a U.S. soybean grower, that's a tremendous thing. For a product like soy foam that is going to be used by firefighters and first responders all over the U.S., I think it's very important. We're trying to make sure that we stay safe with the products we use. We also want to make sure that our environment stays safe for the generations to come. And that was one of the neat things to see that this soy-based foam that we demo today is providing the equipment that we need to help extinguish these fires and preserve property but when we're done and we walk away we know we haven't done damage to the to the environment